this fourth wife, who is a mother of four, is blessed to have a son who is sponsored under the Soaring Eagle Scholarship Program. He may be the only one in her family to have the opportunity to go to school courtesy of the Optiven Foundation. He is also a shining light of hope for his mother, his family, and the community that has seen him access this basic right under the UN Sustainable Development Goal Number 4, which seeks inclusive and equitable quality education and promotion of lifelong learning opportunities for all. Komajina naito Alex Maron. Nina Salio at Rosei location, Kila de Klani Ward, Kajado West constituency. Mimi ndio wa kwanza katika nyumba yetu. Uh, mamangu wa kuna kijana wawili na wasichana wawili. Baada ya kumaliza ama kuitimu kumaliza eh, masomo yangu ya primary, niliweza kukosa karo na kwa miaka miwili niliweza ku kuwa niko nje kufanya kazi kuchunga mbuzi za watu na kulipwa elfu tatu kila baada ya mwezi na nikaweza kuweka pesa hizo na zikanizesha ni nikakuja kuanza eh, secondary eh, education on the year 2020 na ilikuwa ilikuwa ni ngumu sana as one member of a family of not just from the fact that he is the first child to his mother and a family member of 36 members from a humble background of livestock keeping for the males and menial jobs for the females Alex is the epitome of hope, looking to be an example for others and a true help for his families. So, I know Mama Alex, Kaji Tutrai Marona, where I'm not very little, I'm not a little bit. I'm a room in Gruma, a room in the school, I'm a room in 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 school, Desmond Marona, the stepbrother to Alex Maron agrees that access to education is a challenge, especially for those who have no parents to support them. The family patriarch passed away, having succumbed to illness. Wengine wawili walifika tu form 4 na wasichana wengine wawili wasichana wakaolewa sababu watu huwa na uwezo The youth in Torosain location are willing to get an education but have no support owing to poverty in their families. Eh pesa ambazo niliweza kupata katika miaka miwili ambayo nilikuwa nje ziliweza tu kunifikisha nikahitimu kwa mwaka wa kwanza lakini mwaka wa pili nikiwa form 2 niliweza kupitia mashida nikiridishwa nyumbani kwa ajili ya school fees na nikakuwa nikiteseka sana but thanks to the Optiven Foundation through its soaring eagle scholarship program that came to his rescue and his dream to be an engineer is now on course maisha imekuwa imekuwa much better kwa ajili sasa si siendi kutafuta school fees si kusi kwa ajili ya uh, school fees sasa nimekuwa tu concentrated na masomo na itanisaidia sana nifuzu nifikishe ndoto yangu ya kuwa engineer At the Catholic Church sponsored St. Patrick's Kajiado Township Secondary School, the head teacher Simon Derito speaks fondly about one of his students, Alex Maron. We have a student that I, we had identified by the name Alex Mosinko. 
he comes from a very challenged um, family. Alex could have finished his uh, education, but uh, then he was not able to join Form 1 when he did his KCP examination. So when I was doing my daily uh, supervision of my work, I found the boy being a Nise all the time he was in problems here and there. The public institution that has been in operation since the year 2013 is the only public school in Kajado County taking in students from Mashuru and Isinya respectively. She pulled it up and then thrust her window. I may want to thank Optiven because when I gave the story of Eric Mosinko, they were able to come in handy to assist him. I believe uh, Optiven, what they are doing is a noble cause. When you came up to them, that is why you are given the name of Alex because he's bright, focused, and uh, he's an academic giant for that matter. I would like to tell up to them to support Alex for his studies, not only in high school, even to uh, university because we are hoping he's going to join university when he completes his studies. Marona mekua na matatizo mengi kwanza ukosefu wa chakula ukosefu wa karo hakosi shule namna alivyokuwa kikosa na pia tunashukuru mchango wenu wa Optiven Foundation kwa sababu mmempatia ile ari ya kuweza kumaliza masomo yake Dirito notes that the community has challenges ranging from farming nomadic lifestyles single or orphaned homes among others Basically, most of the students come from the nomadic uh, community, that is the Maasai, and others come from an uh, informal settlement, we call it Majengo. The parents of these students are needy uh, parents who requires a lot of uh, support, and especially at a time like this one when we have not been having lane for quite a long time. More than 40% of the students who are in our school are from single parenthood. Others are total orphan. The support from the Optiven Foundation is welcome as it is core to the continuity of education at the school. Hali ya masomo imekuwa nzuri kwangu. Although niliweza kupitia challenges before si kupata hii usaidizi ya Optiven Foundation ilikuwa na shida ya fee lakini kwa sasa niko sawa. My name is George Washiri, the trustee of Optiven Foundation. And uh, education is very, very important in the lives of uh, our children, in our own lives. I remember when I was growing up, we had no sufficient money to take us to school, but we saw communities contributing towards my own education. And today, when I look at uh, Optiven Foundation, I personally value this pillar of education because we know that uh, once we pay for them uh, fees to go to school and all the way to Form 4 or to the university, we are literally giving them the key to success because once they have this particular education, they are able to make better decisions. If they opt to go to business, they can be able to do better business. If they opt to go for career or employment, they are able to do uh, better jobs wherever they work. St. Patrick's Kajado Township Secondary School, Alex looks forward to his dream coming true, all because the Optiven Foundation came in and on time to see that his journey to become an engineer continues. Optiven Foundation has dedicated a lot of resources in matters of education. Every year we pick two orphans per county across 47 counties. Now we have hundreds and hundreds of uh, children that have been sponsored by Optiven Foundation. The Optiven Foundation Education Pillar is the arm that is responsible for the Soaring Eagle Scholarship Program CESP. Through this initiative, students across the country are able to realize their dream of getting access to education with support for their fees, upkeep and other supports. The reason why we sponsor these children is we want them to be independent. We want them to contribute towards the development of our nation. We want them to contribute towards supporting their parents where they have come from across 47 counties. And when we see these children, they are now adults. You know, they are able to make their own decisions. 
they are able to work. Uh, for us as Optwin Foundation, we say yes, we have achieved our objective of empowering these young people to be uh, individuals, people of responsibility and people who can lead this country. To be a part of the process, the Optivent Foundation partners with like-minded individuals, institutions and companies to enable more students access education. Partner with us because an investment in education pays the best interest. To partner with the Optivent Foundation, send your contribution of any amount to M-Pesa pay bill number 898630 with the account name SOMA today. For more information on what Optiven Foundation is doing in the education sector, log on to www.optivenfoundation.org.